Dear friends, welcome to another video. This is Nick from Educates.tv and today we are going to build an interesting Arduino project which is using a fingerprint sensor module. Without any further delay, let's get started. I always wanted to try a fingerprint sensor module in order to learn more about its technology and use it in some of my projects in order to add biometric security to them. While searching for a nice and low cost sensor, I discovered this sensor module on Gearbest.com. The sensor costs around $30 and you can find a link for it in the description of the video. Gearbest.com was kind enough to send me a sample unit in order to test it and share my opinion about it with you. The fingerprint sensor module is small, nicely built and it uses some advanced DSP chips inside. The sensor works like this. It is an optical sensor which means it analyzes the photo of a finger. It then renders the image, makes some calculations, finds the features of that finger and then searches in its memory for a fingerprint with the same characteristics. It can achieve all that in less than a second. This module can store up to 1000 fingerprints in its memory and its false acceptance ra rate is less than 0.001% which makes it pretty secure. Great, we get all that in a very easy to use module and with very low cost. It is a really impressive technology. In order to demonstrate a simple use of the sensor, I built this simple project. I have hooked up the sensor to an Arduino Nano and I also used a small but very fast 1.4 inch color TFT display. The project asks for a valid fingerprint in order to unlock. When I place my finger on the sensor, it recognizes my finger, turns the fingerprint icon green and it welcomes me. If my girlfriend plays her finger on the sensor, it also recognizes her and displays a welcome message with her name. If I place another finger on the sensor, the project does not unlock the screen. It works fine and you are going to see that you can build this project in less than 10 minutes. Let's see how to achieve that. The parts needed in order to build this project are these an Arduino Nano or any other Arduino board, the fingerprint sensor module, a 1.4 inch color TFT display with the ILI9163C driver, a small breadboard and some wires. The cost of this project is around $40. You can find links for all the parts in the description of the video. Let's now put all the parts together. First we have to connect the fingerprint sensor module. We plug in the cable at the back of the module like this. Next we connect the black wire to Arduino ground, the red one to Arduino 5 volt, the green one to digital pin 2 and lastly the white one to digital pin 3. We are now ready to connect the display to Arduino. Please watch the detailed tutorial I have prepared on that display in order to see how to connect it with Arduino. That's it, we are ready to power up the project. As you can see, it works fine. Easy, isn't it? Let's now see the software side of the project and how to enroll our fingerprints to the module's embedded memory in order to recognize them. We need to download some libraries. First of all, we need the Adafruit fingerprint library, the Adafruit TFX library and the Sumo Toys library for the display. You can find links for all the libraries in the description of the video. First of all, we have to upload the enroll example to our Arduino port. We go to File, Examples, Adafruit Fingerprint Sensor Library, Enroll. With this example program, we can store fingerprints in the flash memory of the module. We upload the sketch and we open the serial monitor. The program asks us to enter the ID to enroll. Then we place the finger on the sensor twice as we are instructed and the fingerprint is stored. You can store as many as 1000 fingerprints this way. Now let's load the code that I have developed. Thanks to Adafruit's libraries, the code of the project is very simple. We start the sensor and the display and we check for a finger on the sensor every 50 milliseconds. 
If there is a finger on the sensor, we request the module to search if that finger is enrolled in its memory. If it finds the fingerprint in the memory, it returns that fingerprint's ID. Next, it displays a welcome message and locks the screen again after a few seconds. As always, you can find the code of the project in a link in the description of the video. I am really impressed by the performance and the ease of use of this fingerprint sensor module. With very low cost, we can add biometric security features to our projects. That's amazing! Projects like this would have been impossible for a maker even a few years back. That's the beauty and the power of open source hardware and software. After this first test, I am going to use the fingerprint sensor module along with an electric lock in order to see if we can use this sensor in a real life situation, so stay tuned. Please let me know your thoughts about this sensor in the comment section below. Thanks! If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribed. In this channel, I post videos about do-it-yourself projects every Saturday. I love making things and I believe that anyone can make things, anyone can become a maker. That's why I created this channel in order to share my knowledge with the community and learn from the community. I hope you will join us. Until next Saturday, watch, learn, build.